What we once knew, what we once knew can change in a moment by a choice of ours or someone in our life. What we knew as safe can disappear. Emotions will arise. Behaviors may change. The one thing that stays the same is our God. These safe places we create, we will find Him there because He is our safety. My desk sits in the corner of this room, a small space, my safe place. This is a postcard that I received from a friend of mine who is a photographer. I met him several years ago in a photography group. In the group, one day he asked who would like to receive postcards from me, and I jumped on it because I love mail, always have. I love snail mail, I still have pen pals, and to get another postcard in the mail was that much more fun to me and also he always has really cool different stamps um on the on the postcard at one point he shared with me where he gets the stamps from but i can't remember where he said if you're interested in receiving these postcards from him i'm not sure if he's still taking on new people or not but just let me know and i'll see if i can get in contact with him or you can visit his website I knew with the piece of screen page that I wanted to do something that was able to, you know, have something that was on both sides. That way it was see-through. So I thought to myself, what better way than to keep his postcard in here? Although I glued this page in back when I made the journal, it is actually kind of popped loose so I'm adding some extra Mod Podge to it to help secure it. If you ever incorporate screen in any of your work, whether it be your canvas artwork or in your journals, be prepared to spend a little extra time making sure they stay in place. This is an actual wire piece of screen. I have worked with screen before that's more like the mesh type of material which I really do enjoy working with that too because it, it does secure a little bit better and it's a little more flexible and it doesn't poke you. But I also do enjoy the metal screen as well. Well, what do you know? Look at there. The washi tape has made an appearance. If you've been following this series, you realize that washi tape is really not my favorite. But since I was having a little trouble securing this screen and I really loved the white with black polka dots, I thought, yes, this would look really good and would kind of secure that a little bit better, which washi tape's not going to hold anything into place. But I just thought that it would be cute to have over where I had put all that Mod Podge and hoped that the Mod Podge would help tack the washi tape into place. So now the fun part is going to be getting the postcard to stay on the screen itself. It's going to take a lot of Mod Podge. So I will start that process.
I was having a hard time getting the Mod Podge to start to heat up and stick to the screen, but I continued to keep working with it. If you noticed a while ago, I was using that paintbrush to spread the glue out and it just really wasn't working. So I took the alternative and started using my fingers, but something that you could use is like a flat card or um, you know, sometimes people will work with like gift cards that they no longer use um, and that would be great to spread that Mod Podge out like that. But I will tell you that once all of this dried and everything, I still, I wasn't able to see his message and everything really well on the back like I thought I was going to be able to see through. You still can see it, but I don't know, maybe it's my old eyes. See, I did break out a card to kind of smear some of that around. I should have used that early on. That is a tag from my clothes tag collection, one that I think it come out of an envelope or something that I knew I wasn't going to use. It didn't really give me a wow factor when I first saw it. And if I come across stuff and it doesn't give me the wow factor, Ashley is not keeping it. I will put it to use or recycle it elsewhere. But anyway, so I used it to smear that out and continue to keep drying here with my hair dryer. You know, I've seen through the years people have the heating tools. And I will tell you, after the filming of this series, I purchased me a heating tool off of Amazon. I have not used it yet. My daughter actually saw it on my desk the other day. And she was like, oh cool, what's that? So I told her, but I haven't tried it yet. But I'm anxious to get that done because having to use your hair dryer is kind of annoying. I have a hair dryer that stays permanently in my art studio, which is in a whole separate room in my house and so it stays in there permanently but because this is in a little corner of another room in my house i just use my actual hair dryer that i use every day what do you know the washi tape just popped right on up it didn't secure one bit so i'm going to put a fix to that and add a little more mod podge You may be asking yourself, well, Ashley, why are you working on page 11 before you work on page 10? Well, I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of a backwards type of girl. I tend to do things backwards. So when I set out to work on this spread and it have two pages side by side and the excitement of working with the postcard and the screen, well, guess who won? The second page in the screen and the postcard. So now we're going to start working on page 10. I already had these materials laid out prior to filming and now I'm just going to get those set in place as for how I want to Mod Podge them onto the page. The screen page actually kind of was in my way. I couldn't really press it back to get it out of the way to actually do some work. I was scared to use my clamps though and clamp it down to the pages behind it because although it seemed dry, I was scared there would be some little piece of something that wasn't dry enough and it would be stuck to the next page and that would not be cool. Okay, so sorting these out it's a clothes tag a piece of material and a stamp with an owl on it and a little piece of lace material it's kind of like a pale pink I purchased that material when this uh, material store Hancock's was going out of business 
I got like a foot of it because at the time I was doing some sewing and doing some upcycling clothes and I used that in a shirt one day but I knew that the leftover I would use in my artwork and in my art journals. So you see me checking to see how dry that is because I'm really wanting it out of my way. So now this is a process of elimination and then you do worry about, okay, am I gonna remember where everything is? And you get to working and then you're like, okay, I know I have this filmed, but you can't stop and look because you're filming with the camera that it's on. So here I kind of hold these two in place so I can at least keep them and just hoping for the best to put the tag and the owl back in place. But if you choose to go this method with when working on your pages, even if they don't end up in the exact same place, you can still kind of work with and tinker and, and position the stuff, even if it's just a slight hair off. Just keep working with them until they look visually appeasing to your eye. You can see how I put that one down. I probably was trying to get a little extra Mod Podge on there and then peel it back up. Because like I've said in previous videos, you really want to make sure that you have that Mod Podge on there as much as possible. Because years to come, you don't want stuff falling out. And if you're like me, you probably question yourself years to come what are we going to do with these journals will they end up in the hands of someone else or what and in my personal opinion I hope that someone will take them one day and sit around and look through them and talk about them and I don't want the stuff falling out on them I really like the string on the tag it just kind of adds a little extra character to the page that page with the postcard on it is still driving me nuts. My hope is you found encouragement in today's upload of journal entry 10 and 11. May this encouragement be if you are journaling yourself or if you are a creator working on something else. No matter what we are working on, there are opportunities to find a safe place. During our time in our safe place is us refreshing our soul so therefore we can strengthen our souls so we can shine a light of influence out into the world. <laughs>